What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in. Today in this video guys, I want to talk to you about all the junk happening on Terra. There is like a bunch of stuff over there. Uh, I'll try to keep this video short, but it's probably going to get middle of the long. Instead, what I'll do is I'll talk about the protocol, give a brief intro to it, about 45 seconds, and move to the next. So this is going to be a rapid fire video so you guys can figure out what's up on Terra. I did a nice breakdown and a full layout in our Discord. Um, so it'll basically just say, hey, this is the protocol. Here's a screenshot. This is what this means. This is what that means. And then basically saying, yeah, I'm bullish this coin. I'm bearish this coin. And here's the reasons why. That type of thing. Um, so let's go ahead and get started with like the first tab we got. Uh, so let's see. We're going to start with Prism. Awesome. This is a great protocol to start with. So let's go ahead and start with the... Swapper. So if we go to the swap section, I'm going to go ahead and shrink my face so it's out of the way. Prism protocol um, is really interesting. So what will happen is if I want to uh, participate in some of these things like the pools, uh, like over here, I need to get some P Luna, I need C Luna, I need some Prism, I need Y Luna. There's different things and there's different ways to get it. There's also just a simple way where I can stake some prism, but this is where refraction comes into play. So if I want to come to, uh, let, well, prism protocol, I want to go ahead and get some P Luna and Y Luna. Well, all I have to do is take one Luna, like one Luna, like regular Luna, or even one C Luna, and I can get one P Luna and one Y Luna in exchange. Now I know you're asking yourself, what the snap are these two assets? Well, a P Luna and a Y Luna are two different things. Y Luna is your yield bearing part of the Luna, which you can come over here and you can stake your Y Luna here for about 9%. And your P Luna, well, you currently can't do anything with it right now. Maybe Mars Protocol will allow you to borrow against it or even Edge Protocol, uh, which I'll talk about later in this video. So right now, as you can see, most people are valuing the Y Luna and it's for a good reason. It's because it's the one that's able to earn the yield. However, the P Luna is going to be your principal asset. So there's different strategies involved. Some people will take the Y Luna, P Luna, sell all the Y Luna for P Luna and just hold it out and wait to see what happens. And others will just stake the Y Luna and go and call it a day. Now, what's the use case for the PRISM token? Well, I'm glad you asked. What you can do is you can stake your PRISM token inside the protocol and you can actually earn AMPs. Ants will boost your yields in the different pools and for the staking, so that's the use case for it. So it's kind of like Curve with the VE tokenomics. Me personally, on this coin itself, I'm watching this prism staked. As long as this stays up, this is usually a good thing, but they do have a liquid staked token like the X prism. This is liquid. So it's kind of like sidestepping the unlocking period. So I don't think that avoids the um, eventual dump, I guess you can say. <clears throat> so right now, this is a newer protocol. So until the APRs get worked out and until like the whales are just like, this is fun, this is cool. And as long as they're still enjoying the yields and not dumping on everyone, then the prison token shall do well. But when they want to take profits, then that's when you're going to see that negative flywheel going down right now you have the positive flywheel because everyone's buying and locking to boost their rewards but eventually someone wants to take profits and it's a massively inflationary token it's not like curve where you have the locked token like it's not locked up yes you have something like convex but it's a little bit different like seven percent on prism and x prism how is that going to hold me to keep staking yeah i, I understand you get the 38% um, over here for the X prism. But if there are a bunch of whales out there that have a bunch of amps and I'm just starting to get into this and I have no amps, I'm kind of, well, priced out of the game. And the whales, they're just earning a bunch of prism at that point. They can leave their X prism, their big bags, but eventually they're going to be earning so much prism that they don't have to keep locking. They can eventually just dump this. I mean, yes, I understand if they don't lock it as much, they won't earn as much because they aren't keeping on playing the whale game. But eventually some people will want to dip out and take profits. So that's all I'm saying is it's early until we figure out somewhat of a price floor. Um, that's all I'm saying for the prism token. It's massively inflationary right now. 
they're going to be printing about 130 million prism tokens this year um so it's about a two to three hundred percent increase in the token supply so time will tell we'll see what happens that's enough on prism uh i could go longer and longer on that but just wanted to give a quick overview the next one is nebula now nebula is not out yet you can look at this like a index fund or like a balancer uh, protocol or even like um, something like index finance or pied out um, these protocols allow you to take like a basket of assets so say some like bitcoin ethereum and some stable coin and be able to buy one token that get it gets exposure to all three of these tokens so that's how you can look at nebula um, what keeps its peg they use uh, different incentive models in order to um, maintain its peg and i'm sure maybe they'll have something like uh, gauges and vaults uh, as well for liquidity for their token the protocol is not fully launched yet so we're waiting to see what happens but tldr the concept is it's like a balancer um, beethoven finance that type of thing uh, the next one is mars protocol now i like mars protocol um the protocol itself i don't know about the asset as much uh, when I, I do know about it but what i'm saying is like i don't really like it as much i don't see its value accrual uh, as you can see with things like ave compound those tokens seem to have a hard time um uh creating or having a value accrual mechanism maybe they'll do something like gauges i don't know we'll see what happens um but anyways i like the protocol itself so being able to lend out some luna ust um right now those are the markets uh potentially they will have more i'm sure they will uh and being able to borrow against it it's self-explanatory and straight fire sauce i love that they will also have a uh, flash loans which i'm uber bullish on and there's also um going to be smart contract loans so instead of just like simple flash loans they will also allow you to do contract loans that are not just instant so like these protocols can borrow um, tokens from each other and it's more of like a business to business so i think that's going to be a interesting concept and they also have leverage yield farming um, so you can come over here when you deposit some like luna ust whatever you can borrow into these positions and you can earn a yield everyone loves leverage yield farming coin hall now this is like your dex tools but for well terra and the whole terra ecosystem so it's kind of cool um that's what you can look at coin hall for uh it also has a swap so this is a dex aggregator this will pull from like apollo dow this will pull from terra swap uh, just a bunch of different things so kind of cool this is the other one i mentioned earlier in this video it's edge protocol uh, really like edge protocol and what they're doing um i don't know why they write uh doquan santiago santos jason Choi. um maybe they have some part in this i, I don't know um but it's kind of cool um this is a community uh borrowing and lending vault um i haven't played around with it so i'm not saying like this is super safe um i'm not saying it's super risky i i just don't know enough about it but looking at it, it's it's pretty cool. Um, I mean, basically what you can do is you can lend out some Luna X, you can lend out AUST, some B Luna. So there's different vaults. So basically you can actually get a bonus 0.14% on your AUST. I mean, I know it's not a lot, but still, I mean, dude, it's just like, that's, that's more than you get in a bank account. Um, so yeah, same junk, different day um, as Mars. Now, Stotter. Now, I, I kind of like Stotter Labs because this is a liquid staking protocol that gives you several different options. There is one where it says, hey, look, we'll dump all your airdrops for you and compound it into Luna. There's another where it says, look, um, we will save all your airdrops. And then there's another that's like, hey, we'll still sell all your stable coins and put it into Luna. So you can almost use it to like uh, maximize Luna, maximize airdrops. You can choose what you want to do. And it's liquid staking. So you don't have to wait 21 days to unbond. You can automatically sell your um, Luna X token, which is uh, a token that's automatically accruing value. Then you have something like White Whale and Kajura. Uh, these are both maintaining PEG. When you want to use these, these are basically going to be like, hey, you can deposit AUSD, some B Luna, whatever into these vaults. And if a price goes to a certain point, it will liquidate some of the vaults in Anchor and you'll just get a bunch of Luna. Those are the current ones on Anchor. There will be other ones as well. Now, Nexus Protocol. This one 
does not have the yield optimizer out yet. But when that comes, I will be uber bullish on that. Basically what this will do, this will allow you to go on Anchor Protocol and literally lever up as high as you want or as high as you possibly can in a safe way um, to where this will automatically repay your loan or take out another loan depending on how the prices are and it will maximize the rewards and the gains that you get. It's pretty cool for Nexus. I made a full video on this as well. The next one is Low Terra. Um, not much to say about this. This is a decentralized lottery. Um, so yeah, that's all it is. Pylon Protocol. Now, this one is kind of fun. This is kind of cool. Um, but basically, this allows you to deposit some stable coins. And the yield that you uh, are earning is going to um, give you allocations in different tokens that are launched on their launch pad. So you can basically earn these tokens for free. So like you don't have to pay anything for it. So it allows you to take place in an IDO without having to pay anything. That's Pylon. Um, so right now it is a launch pad. So the token in itself, it does get a bunch of the different tokens that they launch. As you can see here, I staked a little bit when I first got the airdrop and it just pays you some random tokens. Um, so that's how you can look at it for the token itself. It also gets staking rewards. The next one is Ash Report. I mean, don't really need to say much about this, but this is another one of those yield farms. Um, it's almost like a sushi. You can earn some Astro tokens and that's it. <laughs> it's like a swapper, similar to like TerraSwap. Um, so I, I don't have much to say about that. You can farm and do whatever you want with it. It's a token I just dump that I earn and swap it for Luna. Um, so that's what I do. Um, or you can use the auto dumper for you, uh, which is Apollo dot farm. Uh, this will auto dump the tokens and it'll also give you some additional tokens uh, paid in the Apollo token to jack up the yields. Um, am I bullish to the Apollo token? Uh, I mean, I, I just look at it like uh, a typical token like auto farm or beefy finance, like those tokens. Um, not crazy uh, bullish the token. I mean, Luna is your apex asset and the Luna altcoins seem to be down only. Uh, so until proven otherwise, um, yeah. Uh, so Apollo Dow, I like the protocol, um, maybe not as much the token. So time will tell, we'll see what happens. Same thing with a Spectrum. I look like it as a auto compounder. Um, the Spectrum token itself, hey, it's a cool token. It's, it's fun to get extra rewards, but I'm more bullish on the protocol itself. Like bullish as in like, I like using the protocol. Um, I'm farming some of the token and whatever. I like, I'll uh, just leave it there and see what happens. Uh, the next one is TerraSwap. You can look at this like Uniswap. These have some really, really good yields on the Luna B Luna pool. There's now, I know it's not giving farming incentives like Apollo and whatnot, but there's a lot of volume that still goes through TerraSwap. So the swap fees are actually pretty lucrative. And um, depending on what happens, like if people migrate to Astroport and the liquidity is low on TerraSwap, well, then you can basically have a large pool share and you can make bank on the reward. So it's pretty fire sauce in that um, avenue. Sometimes it gets like 30% on the B Luna Luna vault, which is like 30% on Luna. That's better than staking. Now mirror protocol. If you guys don't know about this one, nothing crazy about this one. This is like your uh, synthetic stocks platform. Um, you basically can trade synthetics. Now the mirror token itself, I mean, maybe they can do some like VE, uh, little token model with the mirror token. I don't know. Um, I don't really see Alibaba or Amazon looking to bribe um, in order to get more liquidity set their way. Uh, so that's the problem that I see with it. Um, so until there's a better value uh, capture, I don't really see much for the mirror protocol. Maybe the mirror Governance token holders will get a larger percentage of the swap fees. I don't know. Time will tell. We'll see what happens. Um, there's just nothing crazy about it. Now, Anchor Protocol. We already know the sauce on this one. Um, I love the Anchor Protocol for depositing UST to get a UST at an almost 20% yield. And on top of that, I mean, dude, like I have no complaints about it. It's, it's pretty fun. It's cool. I like how it rolls. And on top of that, um, they're having VE Ank coming out soon. Uh, so with that, well, actually there's rumors of it. We don't know 100%, but I think this could fix the ANC tokenomics, hence why you saw it pumping. 
just watch the full video I made on Anchor if you guys want to understand it a little bit better. Um, but yeah, that's Anchor Protocol. Um, Kajura, we already mentioned this and talked about it. Uh, Talus Protocol. This is going to be like your NFT marketplace and you can actually create your own uh, little galleries and collections on here as well. So it's kind of cool. Um, I, I do like Talus. Um, another one is Neptune. Now I'm uber bullish on this one. You guys know me in yield farming and I love leverage yield farming. Now, I don't like leverage trading, um, but leverage yield farming is fun because you can manage your positions and at least get it in some somewhat of a safe way. Yes, there is still a chance of liquidation, but if you know what you're doing, um, you can make a higher yield at a quicker rate. So like what's what's more? Here's a trick question. 10% um, on $1,000 or 1% 1 on $10,000? Well, the trick question is they're the same thing. So that is like the power of leverage yield farming. Um, so that's how you guys can understand that. Because if you get 10% on 10,000 bucks, basically you're 10xing your yield. So pretty crazy. Um, at that point, you'd be doubling your money um, if you are getting 10% on $10,000, whereas you would have been getting 10 on $1,000. It's actually 100% APR if you factor in the maths. Um, anyways, so here is a, a cool website you guys can go to. This is terra.money slash ecosystem. Here's some different protocols you guys can look at yourself. Um, there are a bunch of different protocols I really didn't even hit on. Um, I'll give you a couple more before we end the video. Like Star Terra, this is a gamified launch pad, nothing crazy. Um, I'm not really bullish uh, launch pads, especially with a sideways market. This is more in like a raging bull market that those do well. Uh, kinetic money, now this is the sauce, man. Take advantage of future yields today. So what this means is it's allowing you to take the yield that you would be getting up front and uh, tokenizing it so you can do what you want with it. Um, you can either buy more of the asset to tokenize more yield or you can just take that yield and trade it, what, whatever you want. So it's, it's kind of cool. Um, I love uh, Terra and the ecosystem uh, for DGEN and all kinds of DeFi junk. Um, it's creative Lego box. Alter protocol, this is like your um, Ampleforth. Uh, so nothing crazy, it's just an algo stable coin. Like I mentioned to you, a Nebula ETF platform, it's the same thing. Um, it's just like the indexes, uh, that's all. So I like Neptune Protocol, like I mentioned to you, they will also offer leverage yield farming, um, but basically it's uh, automated yield farming. Um, so kind of like you yield, uh, like urine finance, whatever, but you can do leverage, so it's kind of cool. Teradrops, a uh, cool place to go to check your airdrops. Eight board, this is a really good uh, uh, little tool to use. This is like your D-Bank for Terra, so it'll break down all your different assets. You also have Bet Terra, like a prediction market. Um, this one's kind of cool. Vega protocol. Uh, this is for derivatives uh, and options. I don't mess with them much, but yeah, it's it's kind of cool. Uh, Levana protocol. I really like Levana because this is going to be like um, a leverage token you can play with. I'm more so like the game in itself uh, with the dragons and whatnot. But Levana is going to be a pr cool protocol because if you want 2x leverage to the Luna asset, we can at least protect your downside. Whereas with leverage trading. Most people are tempted to back their positions, like add more money, and then it keeps going against them, and then they just end up losing more money. So just have to be careful. Cato is cool for buying stuff with uh, UST, so you can cash out there. Uh, TNS is going to be like your ENS uh, protocol. Um, so something to keep in mind, but yeah, there's several other protocols on here that I did not mention. Like that's literally how much junk is going on here. I just wanted to make a quick overview so you guys can get a general idea of what's up on Terra and basically why it's pamping and going nuts and ham. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys saw some protocols that you didn't know about and maybe learned a little bit. And if you guys did make sure you smash up that like and tell me what you guys think about Terra Uber bullish to Terra ecosystem what they're doing. I love the stable coin play. So I'm excited for this journey. Now, if you guys want to jump in the discord, there's a link in the description below. You guys can join in the discord. Um, basically what I do in the discord is I talk about what I'm doing in the markets. I break down my thoughts. And of course there's other DeFi degens just like you inside the discord. There are also some private videos that I don't even post on YouTube. So some exclusive content there as well. Proverbs chapter 18 verses 21. The tongue has power of life and death and those who love it will eat its fruit. Dude, let good only come out of this because if bad comes out, well then 
your goods corrupted. You guys can also catch me on tweeters at rent a home fast, like literally at rent a home fast.